My name is Sebastian, my name is Sebastian Willa, and it was my task in the team to transform the idea of a gaming wearable into the concrete technical product Beacon. Yes, it's quite exciting how I came to the Beacon, how I became part of the team. Peter and Karsten came to me and had an idea for a gaming wearable. At the beginning, it didn't speak much to me, but after an intro, I was rather quickly all geared up. Also, because I found it to be quite a technical challenge how that could be realized. I think it is also quite compelling how such a development behind such a project looks like. Sure thing, at the beginning you're pondering roughly, what do I need? I somehow need the beacon at the foot, I need the configuration software, I somehow must exchange data, and somehow keys must be pressed. And then you relatively quickly start to wonder, which components do I need? Which parts can be used for it? Which parts need to be switched separately? And then, it's all about building a functional prototype relatively quickly by taking single components, taking cables, soldering them together, and writing the first test software. Yes, and if the first LED lights up, these are moments of true childish joy. Well, we had two big challenges. On the one hand, we said, let's use a very small and practical case, in which then there is not much room. All must go in there. The cartridge board with microcontroller, Bluetooth unit, antennas, LED sensors, and so on. All of that in such a compact space was quite a challenge. On the other side, we said from the very beginning, we want to have an easy to use product. It must be ready for every day's life. It must be robust, it must be bug free. We want the gamer to have a great experience. He should unbox the beacon, switch it on, connect with the PC, and be ready to start gaming. Here in our 3D printer, the cases of the beacon are being printed. You can see how they come out here upside down and then get taken out. Next, they are washed and then baked, or rather hardened, here in our little pizza oven. To put the hardware to life, there is still a firmware necessary a piece of software which represents the intelligence on the beacon. It recognizes the position I am in at the moment. Should I send a press A key? Yes or no? The other side is a software sitting on the PC. The config software, which correspondingly coordinates the communication, sets the key mappings, and which can store the configuration and read out the battery status, etc. Then, there naturally always is the question, when is such a product development finished? Actually, it never is. Because we always have new ideas, and we are also looking forward to the community Unity, which always brings new input and new ideas. So, we are simply excited how it will all play out. Who knows which sorts of further gaming wearables will come in the future.